What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some more comic book sales. I absolutely love that I found something that is very profitable that I've been buying more uh, comic book lots and I've been getting a lot of profit and a lot of sales for them. In total since starting, I have sold over $2,500 worth of comic books, which is an amazing number. And I still have over, I think three quarters or maybe half now left. So there's definitely a lot of profit to be made, just like I expected. But today we're gonna to be going through a lot more of my comic book sales that I recently made. Let's get right into this. All right, I'm just gonna dive right in and start listing off things that I've recently sold. A lot of these comics that I am selling, uh, a lot of the bots that I've, uh, boxes and lots that I've bought, I've only paid 45 to 60 cents each. So you guys can see a lot of the profit that is made whenever I start talking about what I have sold. Up first is a 20 comic book mystery box. I sold this for $35 and it was all indie stuff, stuff that I probably wouldn't be able to sell on its own for 50 cents each. Somebody was very interested in a mystery box that had just indie stuff in it. So I was able to put a lot of them in it and they were more than happy with what I put in it. I think there was a couple of Chuck Norris and a couple other things, just random stuff that they were interested in. They didn't really want anything superhero related so it is mostly a bunch of anime and a bunch of other weird indie comics that I knew nothing about and honestly I probably would have been stuck with them so I did sell those then I did sell 14 Ghost Rider comics for $40. These ones here, he actually asked me to ship them. I did. It just took a lot of time to be able to commit and get the payment because it was a lot of back and forth. And whenever I was working overnights, uh, it was difficult to communicate with this guy because when I was sleeping is when he would message. When I was at work on break, that's when I would message him back. So it took some time communicating back and forth, but I did get 14 comics sold for $40. Next is... 25 X-Force comics sold for roughly $2 each. I sold the whole lot for $50, which is amazing. So whenever I sell comics for $2 each, that's me getting four times what I paid for them. I'm extremely happy with that. So on average, most of my comics do sell for about $2 each. Next up is X-Men number 55 and X-Men number 85. This here sold for $50, $25 each. I did sell them and ship them. I sold them on Facebook Marketplace. They wanted them shipped. I shipped them to them exactly how they wanted them shipped, which is between two pieces of cardboard and then put in an envelope and shipped that way, which to me isn't the safest way, but that's how a lot of people have been asking me to sell and ship them single comics. So if that's how they want it and they're okay with that, I will do it. But if they don't, ask I will ship it in other methods as well but these two comics they were a little beat up which is why I only put $25 each for them but the buyer is more than happy with the condition and the comics next up is one of the more expensive single comics that I had and that was the Incredible Hulk number 449 this one here I didn't think anything of it because it was 1997 this comic I believe but it was the first introduction and the first appearance of the Thunderbolts in a comic book. So that's why I sold it for $150. And that was amazing. They were more than happy with that. This comic looked like it was in perfect condition. Could have sold it a lot more on the higher ends, but decided averagely they're selling for 150. I ended up selling it for 150. So I was happy with that sale. Next up is 30 in indie comics once again for $20. 30 comics for $20. I'm just glad to see things going and this is stuff I would have been stuck with. So I decided to take and accept that offer. Next up is 30 Marvel comics. This is another mystery box, but it was all Marvel. I sold it for $60, which for 30 comics, $60, that's $2 each. That's four times what I paid for the comics. I will gladly take that offer and accept that deal. Next up is 30 comics. Uh, another mystery box, and it was $50. This one here, the only two things I included were, there's about eight Walking Dead comics. I looked them up, there's nothing spectacular, nothing that was a lot of money. So I decided to include those in the mystery box since he was interested in the Walking Dead ones. And the rest was all Batman again. Nothing fancy, but this here, 30 comics for $50, was still a great sale for me. And I got a lot more things sold, which I was extremely happy with. 
Next up is another expensive comic. This is one that I was debating on keeping for my own personal collection, and that is X-Men issue number 100 from volume one. This was uh, 60s, early 70s, something like that. This one here was a little, actually, I was going to say it was a little beat up, but that was another one I'm thinking of. This one here looked like it was in perfect condition, and it was X-Men versus X-Men, a battle to the death, and that's something that was just really cool. The cover art looked amazing, the comic looked great, but I did end up selling it for $100, so I decided to take that sale over keeping it in my personal collection, which at the end of the day, I made a great sale, so I'm extremely, extremely happy that I was able to do so. Next up is three Silver Age Sergeant Fury comics. These ones here... They sent me um, uh, an offer of, I think, $5 each for them, or I think that's what I had listed. And after shipping, I was still left with $2 extra. So in total, I sold these three comics basically for $17. They were in extremely rough condition. I knew I would have been able to sell them more if they were perfect, but they've looked like they've been through literally a war. So I decided just to sell them five bucks each. Somebody took that, paid up uh, an extra $2 for shipping that uh, I was unaware of. So I'm putting the total at for the sale at $17. And the last one is one single comic issue number 38 of X-Men. This is the oldest X-Men comic that I had. It did have a couple folds in it. It did have a little wear and tear, not much. But after eBay fees and shipping, that left me with $40 for this sale in my pocket. I decided to take that and accept their offer. I could have got more for it, but at the end of the day, it was $40 for something that maybe I could have sold for $60, but I've been sitting on it for so long. It's been one that there's been no interest for, and a lot of people told me just to sell it for $20 so that whenever I posted in Facebook groups. So I decided when I was, I calculated it and it was going to be $40 in my pocket, I decided to make that sale happen, accept the offer, and sold it on eBay, made $40, and I ended up shipping it and they're more than happy with this comic and that was awesome for me. So once again, these are my most recent comic book sales, which I absolutely love selling comics now. And there will be another video in the future because I've been having a lot more rapid sales, but there's too many that I could put in one video. So there is going to be a fourth comic book sales video very, very soon. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.